Every morning I wake up and I think about how I don't have a man and how there's not a man next to me when I sleep. The only thing I look forward to in the morning is waking up and going to get my favorite coffee. But even then, I just wish that my man could go get me coffee. As I'm brushing my teeth, I think about how I have two sinks and no man to clean up after. I do my skincare and red light therapy because I know a man would want me to stay beautiful. And if I want to get a man, I need to be staying on point and looking great at all times. I go downstairs and chug water because if I did have a man, he would ask me if I drank water today. I eagerly put my socks on. I pop on my favorite shoes and my pink hoodie from Akimbo Club because you know what they say, pink makes the boys wink. I hop in my whip and so desperately wish that I was a passenger princess. I'm keeping a lookout while I'm driving, making sure that there are no men that could possibly be suitors. I make it to my favorite coffee shop in hopes that maybe a man will pick me up while I'm there. I wasn't so lucky, but maybe next time. This is why. Who is no stranger to controversy is in controversy again. And I'm talking about Winnie Parker. Her entire platform is based on her sharing her horrible dating experiences. She'll, you know, broadcast live after dates or show herself getting ready for dates and then do sort of like a post date analysis. Well, now she's asking her audience to help her raise $8,000 to hire her a matchmaker. To me, it's kind of like, I want you all to chip in so you could buy me a decadent meal. I know we're all hungry, but if you all contribute, I'll record myself eating the seafood boil. This isn't the first time that she has come across a bit entitled and has asked a little bit too much from her audience. There's nothing wrong with her wanting love and her wanting to be in a relationship, but what she's asking for is not mutually beneficial. It benefits no one but you for you to have a matchmaker and for you to find the love of your life. What's in it for your audience? And don't say content because you were already giving that up for free. Winnie Parker, Miss Winnie Macy's Ad Parker. I know good and well. I did not just watch no video of you dry begging on TikTok asking us to donate to a GoFundMe for you a matchmaker. What level of desperation do you reach of needing a man that bad to when you get on TikTok and beg people for money to donate for a matchmaker? You need a man that bad? If you need a man that bad, you need to be able to supply the money to pay for the matchmaker. Ain't no way you need to come and ask us to donate so that you can get one. And then to have the audacity to say that one of the pieces of criteria for that man is that he needs to be financially stable. Be so for real. I feel like one of the first videos I even seen from this lady was something about her being close to 30 or being 30 and then having to move back in with her mama. I think eventually she did get her own place. Bravo for being an adult. But yeah, to be somewhere talking about the man need to be financially stable when you're not, you need to figure your own stuff out first. You don't need a matchmaker. You need a financial advisor. That's what you need. You need to get a financial advisor, not a matchmaker. Imagine donating for a matchmaker just to find out she the problem. Just to find out it ain't the dating apps. It ain't the men she going on the dates with. It's her. I can think of a lot of good things to do with $8,000. Helping her get a matchmaker ain't one of them. No, thank you. Sound like you need to update that media kit and send out some emails to these companies and see if you can get some collaboration deals and get your money. I wanted that to hop way. on here real quick and say thank you to the people that have donated. You guys are so sweet. I'm two hundred dollars closer to hiring a matchmaker and finding the love of my life. Um, I think it's really cool that I've had some major network companies, production companies, reach out to me. I think that's awesome. Um, so. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really not stressed or pressed about the fact that everyone's mad about it. I think that they can be mad about it and I'm going to continue trudging on and continue doing me. So yeah, I appreciate everyone that has donated and yeah, stay tuned. Well, there you have it. Now I posted it because I'm sure people going to come in here and be like, Oh, why didn't you post that she got picked up by like a network contacted her and things like that? I posted it, all right, because I want to finish the story. But anyway, this is what I said that she should do. And I'm glad that a uh, a major network contacted her. Something tells me it's either married at first sight or I'd say love is blind, but I don't think Atlanta, the Atlanta season for love is blind was Lauren and Cameron's season. So... 
Um, at least one of the networks contacted her, which is perfect because she does dating content. So it just all makes sense. Plus, it'll save her money on getting a matchmaker. Now, to be clear, I don't mind people getting a matchmaker. Like, listen, outsourcing everything else to make life easier. If you can afford to outsource your dating life, like at least just pull the potentials. We through go through the weeds and get me the potentials. I'm all for it. But the thing is, I can't afford it. So, and I recognize that I can't afford it. So I'm not going to me personally ask the the uh, 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 the audience. I'm not going to ask the audience to pay for a couple months of a matchmaker because these things take time. These things take time. And um, there's people that are dying. There's people that are hungry. There are a lot more other things to ask for money about. Like she makes dating content. So she should have had like a, a Patreon or subscription or something to where like, I guess there's like an incentive to giving you money. But anyway, she says she's good. She's $200 closer, girl. Pick up the phone for that network. Whatever network it is, even if it's 90 Day Fiance, pick up the phone. She tried to say in the comments, someone was like, oh, it's bullying at this point. Girl, you asked the public for money. It's not bullying. It wasn't unprovoked. You asked the public, you made a public video asking the public for money or those that want to donate to my GoFundMe. And yeah, not everyone's going to rock with it. Obviously, there was a couple of people that rocked with it that they gave you $200. But if you do something, you send something out to the main audience and the audience don't like it, they're not bullying you. At least as far as I saw, no one was like, give you death threats. No one was doing all that stuff. We were just talking about it like, girl, there's other things to worry about than getting a man. But anyway, she said she good. She said we all mad. So I guess I'm going to just be over here mad in my corner. So until next time, Winifred, best of luck to you. And let's see what you do to piss off the audience next.